Good afternoon, good morning, good day and evening all. Yes, I'm doing the intro this time because basically you might have got a bit sick of hearing evening all from Pyrex. Yeah. We're playing FTL today. It's a it's a game that I'm pretty sure we've shown before and um it it looks like it's a CAD drawing and basically um <laughs> All you're doing is navigating from one room to the other. Is that right, Pyrex? Because obviously this is one of yours. It's managing property and space. <laughs> yeah, it's FTL. I played this game a long time ago. I really quite like it, but... <sighs> this is galactic you estate know, agents, isn't it? Do you know wow. what? Do you know what? I played it on the iPad and I, I just grew a hatred for this game that I think will sustain me for some time. Let me explain why. It's a great game and it's very fun. But actually you don't do much. And it's the hardest game I've ever played ever. So you can have the perfect game where like, after 15 minutes of playing, you get to the friendly fleet and you then fight the whole armada on your own anyway. And then you get killed by a ship that's 20 times more powerful than you could have ever been anyway. And I, I have a major issue with this game because I guess it kills me more often than not. Um, I even cheated, look, I unlocked all the super ships. This is the super crystal ship. Still get killed every time. You're slurry. I know. So you're reviewing basically a bad game. No, no, it's a brilliant game. I, I think everybody should mm -hmm. own this game. So, I mean, a lot of the advent, I guess we do, is the hope that somebody will notice them on the Steam sale and go and buy them. Because we do play a few games this year that I think are well worth people buying, like Shadow of Mordor, that was a good one. I even got into Max Payne. It's one of the few games after we've done this and I've actually carried on playing. And I quite liked it. It's got a really good story. A bit obvious, but it's actually not too bad. So, and I think FTL is probably the third in that list where I'd say, if you see it on offer for like a couple of quid, go buy it. Because there is a lot of game here. And it's an iPad game now as well. You can actually just play it on the iPad. Um, and it works. It is fun. It's, it's completely random generated. It's what's called a roguelike. Um, so it's got random, randomized events, etc. So you could play through and have the perfect luck or the worst luck or whatever, and it dictates your, your, uh, your journey. So, so there um, you go. Not your cup of tea? You, you always love these clicky games. Where you're it is a bit, and on an click, iPad it's very hard. Clip, clicking around, having a look, setting this, configuring that, it's just... It's a management yeah. game in a way. I mean, it's a bit like Dwarf Fortress in space. Uh, and I just fast forwarded there because, yeah, it goes on. <laughs> so I fast forwarded there because I find a lot of the time you just end up kind of getting in a bit of a tiz with upgrades and things like that. And what are you doing right now? So we're in a nebula, as you can tell, because there's purple all around us. And I'm fighting a, a drone ship. Um, Sorry, this is a fight that's actually happening right now. Well, this is the joke. Apparently, FTL people, you know, the creators of FTL were actually trying to make out that it was a big joke. That instead of having the pew 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 fight, dog fight stuff, Aww. they would actually just show you the management of the fight. <laughs> and it does kind of work, but. So you're just basically uh, managing your guys and telling them to go to the guns. Yeah, and so stuff. for example, the ship's on fire there, you see, and the bits are broken there, and the helm is actually offline. But what about so targeting? Um, well, you. I targeted what to them, I wanted them to shoot at on their ship, and they did. So yeah, don't get me wrong. I get it. Don't get me wrong. I know where you're going with this. It's. I don't think you game. do. I really don't think you do. So we're basically pretending that we're Star Trek Command. It, yeah, it's Star Trek, pretty much, literally. And Except for you don't get to sit in the seat, so. and you also don't get to see the people. And basically, all you're doing is looking at a CAD drawing of a ship that is really bad. That CAD drawing does not fit in that ship. It's how does shape. it how does that space work what's all that empty bulkhead there and why is it empty there why why is your ship shaped like this but the outside looks completely because the it's shape? a crystal ship owned by the crystallons of crystal seven is it grown no probably but again bad so game just because it's a crystal ship doesn't make <laughs> sense like why, why are they all between the two why sides? is there that all that sense. empty space yeah and what what does that corridor signify oh someone can explode it and then the two halves can't meet i'll tell you why this game's important though because this game was one of the few indie games like prison architect that came through through steam and it's become very very popular because of youtube Okay. So, you know, YouTubers have done games of this and they've shown this game. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, it is a very engaging, fun game. I think the, the, the longevity of it is maybe questionable, but it is 
a lot of people like these management games. And it's like people want to play games where there is a little bit more, I guess, diversity on what you can do. Um, it's an intellectual game, basically. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're not going to come here to get your, you know, kind of shootiness on. You're just going to come here and play it because you want to send all power to engines and things like that. But I can see that you could play it for quite some time and lose time on it, not knowing how much time you spent playing. Oh, easily, yeah. Easily. But the idea is this is actually one of, a, again, a new generation of lunch break games. So you're actually only supposed to play it for 15 minutes and you do it during your lunch break. And, it, you know, I think there was even rumours that this was supposed to be browser-based, but I don't know if that's true. But it probably could run in a browser. But again, the purpose of these games is um, is that you play it during your lunch break through a browser um, mm. or Steam, whatever. But again, you know, an interesting one. It uh, To me, it kind of began the the stampede of PC games onto tablet, which you now see an awful lot of, in fact. Um, I can't think of any, but that could be because <laughs> I'm pretty drunk. But <laughs> it did start the kind of gradual move from PC to tablet, but it's also the other way. Like I heard that people are now playing Clash of Clans on PC. They use emulators to play it on PC. Awesome, awesome game. But they use macros and cheat. Well, it's not very really nice, is it? There you go, what do you think? Hmm. Just hmm. Is that it? Just hmm. Okay. Mm. See what we have next week. Next week, tomorrow. Oh, God.